back with Jordan Poole on Wizards Media Day. JP, what's up, man? How what's are you? What's going on, bro? How are you? I'm um, doing well. Doing well. Fun to talk to you guys this time of year. Uh, you know, everyone's excited. Everyone's getting ready for the season. Uh, for you, though, I'm curious. Like when you were in Golden State, uh, you guys went pretty deep in the playoffs, pretty consistently. Your yeah. season doesn't end until May or, or even June. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're done in mid-April. What What'd you do? Like, how, how was it weird? Being <laughs> done that early? Um. Yeah, it was a lot of time off. Um, you know, it worked out. Uh, I like to travel a little bit in my off season, um, but I do like to take my time off and like re- like rest a little bit, relax. Um, so if you kind of mix those three up, those three things up over the course of like five and a half months, that's really all I've been up to. Did it hit you like how long the postseason is? Not being in it, maybe even harder than it is when you're in it. When you realize like, oh my god, they are still playing. Yeah. Um, so my first year was COVID, so right. the off season was a little bit. Yeah, that, that doesn't. That like, was like you know schedules messed whack. up a little bit, and then the second year was a shortened season, so we started a little bit later, and then we I want to say we started either normally or a little bit earlier coming the next season, and then my third year was. That was the year y'all went y'all won it right. Yeah, that was the year we won it. So we went all the way into like June. Yeah, it's late. Then June. the second or the year after that was like. May, yeah, middle of May, because it's probably like two and a half, three weeks for the first two rounds. So this is the first off season I had that was like an extended period of time. I mean, when you get it off, you like obviously want to take advantage of it, but like I wouldn't plan on trying to have too (laughs) many of those. Right. Um, But it is what it is. Uh, speaking of the travel, what was your favorite trip that you took there in the off season? Because it looked b- based off Instagram alone, it looks like you had a couple uh, good ones. Yeah, yeah. Amsterdam was new. I've never okay. been to Amsterdam. Uh, we were there for a couple of days. That was fire. I wasn't expecting it to be how nice it was. Food was really good. Uh, people were cool. Um, I'm like an outdoorsy, like nature type of guy. So just walking okay. around, kind of getting um, the feel and vibe of a new city. It was good weather. So uh, let's let's lock in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, definitely on my list. Yeah, you, uh, oh, you haven't been? I have not, but okay. I did. You and I did share one vacation destination. Where? I was in Paris for the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Were you there Olympic time, or did you no, get No, I go definitely before? wasn't going when there was all them people out there, bro. There's no <laughs> way, bro. They did a good uh, job of, of making it not terribly busy. I yeah. Will say. They did a good job. Kudos yeah. to the French. I love Paris. Paris is probably a favorite. I was. What do you love about it? There's there's a lot to love. Yeah, so yeah. What, what is it that just you love the, about the it? The swag. Yeah. Just kind of, they just be minding their business. Everybody put, they put real clothes on. But everybody out there on foot, they walking around. It's not like, I'm not going to say it's like super warm and, and inviting, but it's not like cold shoulder either. Yeah. Like people just go about their day out there. So um, just the vibes, bro. I don't know. Just no, the vibes, bro. It's great. Don't let me learn. I'm working on my French. So. How's that going? Because I tried to it's learn going, French and it's it was going terrible. Good. It's going good. I got three three uh, players yeah. on the team who speak French. So I just asked some questions throughout the course of the course of the day course of the year and stuff so who's the most helpful me and Bilal going on year two he year yeah. two is my teacher but it helps <laughs> with Keyshawn because yeah. Keyshawn is uh he's bilingual yeah fire yeah fire no, that's, and then we got we got mad French people around the facility I'm not gonna lie so <laughs> there's hella wee wee going on in there <laughs> bone to the all type of stuff yeah no it's uh that would have been helpful i just was doing duolingo <laughs> and i that was i started with that but didn't i only got so far yeah it didn't because i learned la, spanish la, la, la shot is the yeah. only thing that i learned bro that yeah. mean like yeah. cat yeah. bro that's yeah. it yeah. <laughs> okay cool he yeah. can eat an orange right? but like how, how helpful is yeah <laughs> no, i'm gonna have my french right by the by the start of the season all right that we can make that a, a mutual goal if we do this again next year we'll do okay part yeah, of the yeah, interview yeah, in see what we learn yeah okay but well, I like that. I'd probably be like, bonjour. So and then, and, and that's then, it. I'll just take it from there. All right. Excellent. All right. That's a good plan. Uh, we'll call it a date next year, media day. Anthony, yeah. put that in the notebook. Lock it uh, in. All right. So uh, I also noticed uh, that that tattoo over there, the leg sleeve. Yeah, yeah. It grew uh, throughout the, the season from the, the end of season pictures. I think it was just down on the calf. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the tattoo plan here? What like what? like Just one leg sleeve. I'm done. That's it. I'm all done. Right, yeah, sleeve from top to bottom. Uh, I added a bunch of stuff. I added a... Alan Iverson piece. I added a uh, Death Note. It's an anime. I don't really watch anime, but uh, I watched that one and it was fire. His name's Ryuk. I got him. I got Denzel Washington on the side. Michigan logo. Barack Obama up top. Uh, Clint Eastwood on the side. Bernie Mac in the back. So these are all like heroes and of yours. On the in, side. Yeah, more like portrait vibes. Things that I like growing up. I thought were pretty cool. 
No, they look great. Yeah, so appreciate ex- it, bro. Excellent work on that. Yeah, I'm my sure dog. That, that hurt like hell. Oh, yeah, all tattoos are terrible. Yeah. Anybody tells you that tattoos don't hurt, man. They're lying. They're capping. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk a little ball. Uh, I know, like, the first half of last year for you compared to the second half are two yeah. completely different seasons. Yeah. My question for you, Jordan, is, like, when you watched yourself on tape in the first part of last year, and you're trying to figure out how to get to where you eventually did get, what was that process like of figuring that out on both ends of the floor? Um, I controlled everything that I could control. Like, in terms of the positions that I was on the court, um, you know, minutes that I was playing, uh, the unit that we were out there with, it's only so much you can control with that. I mean, you can be vocal, you can go talk to the coach, you can go have, like, these conversations, but... Um, ultimately, when BK came, um, he's very familiar with my game. Um, he coached against me my first four years in the league, and uh, he knew my style and he knew what I'd do to be effective, and he wasted zero time um, on, like, telling the team that as well as just, like, letting me know this is how he wants me to play, which is getting back to my game, being on ball, being aggressive, creating shots for myself, creating shots for others, playing in transition, um, playing free. And I think we just saw that as soon as he got the coaching change and he made that alter from being off ball to point guard, like, everything went back to normal. So um, it's a learning process. Um, Nothing is supposed supposed to be easy, but it ties into just the fact that we were transitioning, we got a new coaching staff. We got a new front office. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure out what direction they want to go to. It's their first year being in a head position. It's my first year being um, the lead player. So it was just a lot of transitioning things that we needed to one like go through. I'm sure if we all could do it right away and like skip that entire phase, I'm pretty sure we would. <laughs> but it's just a part of the learning process, and um, definitely made you. T- it makes you tougher. Um, you learn a lot. Um, it was cool. It was a cool experience, man. You got to take everything that comes with the with the process. You can't just take the highs. I, I'm glad you used that word toughness. I'm actually I'm reading a book right now by a guy named Steve Magnus. That, okay. It's on on toughness, and what the, literally the chapter that I was reading last night talks about how struggle can be a factor in building toughness. Yeah. If you take the right approach to yeah. it. So what's something you learned through the struggle that like yeah it wasn't very fun at the time, but that now you're like oh I'm a better person, better basketball player because of this struggle that I had. Um, it's a good question. I'm not gonna say like I, the thing that comes to mind is like stick with it, stay with your routine. But like, I did that. All of that. I think that is where people deter a little bit is when things get tough, or they're not going how they're supposed to. You want to alter something. You want to change something. Um, but for me, I just stayed consistent through like the tough times. Anyway, you know what I mean, like. Well, I guess then if it works. Stick to the process. It, I mean, yeah. If it, if it works, it, then. Then why change it? Right. But I can see how at the beginning of the year, how that, how people would think that didn't work. And, like, that wasn't the thing. Um, so just staying with the routine, sticking to, to what you know, um, challenging yourself, um, and then just getting back up, rising to every occasion, showing up every day, being first in, last one out, right? Like, that is more so of, a like, a lifestyle. That's more so of a personality trait than it is a motivation or non-motivational factor um so just sticking with it stick with, and like because things are going to turn around there's that's not going to always be tough and um you know you just take the bumps with the you know with the punches you throw all right last question because they're giving me the uh, uh the, the rap here the, the hurry uh, up. so what this year going into it you're obviously way more comfortable we're on the team you know will you know bk you yeah. know the staff yeah. or a lot of the staff you know yeah. uh the city a lot yeah. better you've been yeah. doing a lot of cool stuff yeah. and, and love to have you back on the show eventually to talk about some of that yeah definitely. Uh, i might have to start popping out and doing some more like podcasts with the team like local local stuff i've been thinking about it me and my uh where is he at me and my pr guy jay squared yeah, well, tell Jay Squared <laughs> to come over here and pay me a visit. We'll have you, we'll have you on whenever. But uh, for you on the court, like, what is success for you this year? That's how we're wrapping up all these all these chats here on. on uh, are we gonna go like tangible, like you can actually touch it, or just like you know metaphorical things as well? Uh, trying either. to hit the we 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 playing, at least playing. I w- obviously, I would love to get back to the playoffs. We would love to get them to the playoffs. But I think playing is a very reachable, tangible goal for us. 
Um, but just learning and building a culture and a sense of style, uh, like to DC, like a way that we play, right? Like playing with speed, playing with, like we're going to get up a lot of threes. We're getting out in transition, have fun. We're going to guard. Um, bringing like a, you know, just like a joy back to the city. We're young, so we're going to have to use the season to learn the things that we need to learn in order to become a good team and be a team that ultimately wants to play in that postseason. Um, but just building like an identity, I think that's something that'll be huge for us. Um, and everything else will take care of itself, man. I'm extremely excited about the season. We're going in the right direction. We got some clarity. Uh, we got guys who are motivated. We got a young group of guys that are really going to help us this year. Um, coaching staff uh, who's locked in, who's focused. Um, it'll be a it'll be a fun year. It'll be a fun year. Looking forward to it. Yeah. JP, we'll have you back on to talk about all the Facts. stuff you're doing. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. That's Jordan Poole, everybody. Yeah.